Hi, today we are going to discuss about principles of dialysis. Hemodialysis may seem complex, but it is based on a simple scientific principles. This class will help you to understand this principle and how they are using in dialysis. Dialysis replaces mainly three kidney functions. They are removing waste from the blood and removing excess fluid from the blood and keeping electrolyte in balance. Let's discuss about scientific principles used in hemodialysis. Solution is a mixture of solvent and solute. The solvent is a fluid and solute is any substances that can be dissolved in the solvent. So in salt water, water is solvent and salt is solute. So in dialysis, dialysate is a solution that is used during dialysis. Water is a solvent and the solutes are electrolytes. Example, potassium, calcium, sodium, magnesium and chloride ions are also sugar. Electrolyte level in dialysate is closely matched in level of human blood. So this reduces the loss of this electrolyte out of the blood and into dialysis during dialysis. A semi-permeable membrane is a type of thin flexible filter or a barrier that allows only a particle smaller than a certain size to pass through it. Diffusion is the movement of solute from the region of higher solute concentration to the region of lower solute concentration and diffusion can occur in solid, gas or liquids such as blood. Energy for the movement comes from the molecules themselves and does not depend on outside forces. Let's discuss about factors affecting diffusion by nature of the solution. First one is concentration gradient. As we discuss, solute will move from a area of higher solute concentration to the area of lower solute concentration. Solute can move through a membrane in either direction but always towards the area of lesser concentration. Diffusion stops when the concentration on both sides of the membranes are equal. Concentration gradients allow dialysate to remove waste from patient's blood and to balance electrolyte in blood with electrolyte in the dialysate. Next factor is molecular weight of the solute. So smaller molecules diffuse more easily and quickly than larger one. Larger blood components such as red blood cells, white blood cells, albumin and platelet as well as the virus and bacteria diffuse more slowly or nil because of their bigger size. Small molecules such as urea and salt diffuse faster but middle molecules may pass through but more slowly. So next factor is temperature. Molecules move faster at higher temperature, so warmer fluid allow faster diffusion. Dialysate temperature is controlled during dialysis for patient safety, comfort and faster diffusion. So next we can discuss factors affecting diffusion by the nature of the membrane. So the first factor is membrane permeability. The membrane with more pores allow faster diffusion and larger pore allows larger molecule to pass through it and also larger surface area allow more diffusion. So next factor is flow geometry. In dialysis blood flows in one direction while dialysis flow in opposite direction which is called counter current system. You also have co-current system in which blood and dialysis flows together. This counter current flows of the blood to dialysis speed up diffusion. The other principle is osmosis. In diffusion, solute moves. In osmosis, the solvent moves across the membrane. Osmosis is the movement of solvent through a semi-permeable membrane from an area of lower solute concentration towards the area of higher solute concentration. The difference in concentration is called osmotic pressure gradient. In both diffusion and osmosis occurs until the equilibrium reach. Other principles is filtration and ultrafiltration. Filtration is the movement of fluid through a filter as the result of hydraulic pressure. Fluid will always move from higher hydraulic pressure to lower hydraulic pressure. 
the filter traps any matter that is too larger to pass through it. In dialysis, ultrafiltration will help to remove water from blood due to the pressure gradient across the membrane. Is used to remove excess water that has built up. The filter used ultrafiltration is a semi permeable membrane. The last principle is convection. Convection is a transfer of heat and solute by physical circulation or movement of a parts of the liquid or gas. In dialysis, convective transport leads to solvent track. As a solvent cro crosses a semi permeable membrane, it drags along small solute. I will give you a few examples of convection. In waterfall, small stones and other particles will come down along with water is an example of convection. Other example is in a desert or ground, while wind blows, all dust will move along with the wind. This is also an example of convection. So convection is nothing but solute will go along with the solvent tracks. So question related to this topic we'll discuss in next video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. More points we'll discuss on next episode.